I like whatever I'm seeing in here. What that is our bone-in lamb shank, which is the signature dish on our menu. So, oh, wonderful. Depending on which part of the country you're in, uh, there's going to be different variations of the lamb shank stew. Yeah. This one in particular is actually from the northwestern region of the country, uh, known as the Kurdish province. Well, I do love lamb, and these things look like they've been uh, kind of cooking away for a while. Yep, um, been braising for about six hours now. Six hours, all yeah. right. Um, so where do the rest of these beautiful ingredients come in? So the trick of making this dish is two-part process. Uh, cook the, uh, the meat separately first. It better absorbs. Uh, the spices. The second part is assembling and combining all the ingredients. So the first process is to add the olive oil. And you might want to be careful over here because we're getting <laughs> ready to add the garlic and the onions. You can see we are using a significant amount of onions. Generous, a generous portion. So right. once you add the onion, onion and the garlic, the trick here is to make sure the onions get browned a little bit. Now we're going to go ahead and start adding the other ingredients. So we're going to start out with the homemade tomato paste. If you are in Tehran, typically the lamb shanks are just made with the broth, the saffron butter, the lime juice, the garlic, and the onions, OK? That's it. It's very tasty. But if you go to the northwest part of Iran, that's when you start seeing tomato paste and a whole other new set of uh, spices. Now that we have a nice consistency going on with the, with the base of the broth, this is where we add the saffron butter. And you're gonna add the fresh squeezed lime juice, chili flakes and red paprika. Cinnamon, the Kurds love cinnamon for their stews. And it's not a dominant flavor, but it's, it's one of those flavors you can, you, can, you can sense it in the background. We're gonna go ahead and add the cumin, rosemary, chili peppers, and last but not least, the turmeric. Oh, so yeah, that will give it a nice color. That's yeah. the color. So this is where you want to go ahead and lower the, uh, the the temperature a little bit. Okay, so now that we have the uh, the broth, uh, spices, and flavors uh, completed, we're going to go ahead and add it to the actual uh, lamb shank and broth. Oh my God, Chef, that smells so good. The meat at this point has, has been cooking for hours, and if you try to mix it with a spoon, What's going to happen, the meat is going to fall off the bone. We don't want to do that. This eventually will start getting mixed with the liquid. All right, so you just want to be really, really delicate with these lamb shanks. Absolutely. The good thing is, before you arrived here, I was already working on two shanks, and I have those ready. So let me oh, go ahead nice. and reach get those for you. And oh. this <laughs> is the final product. That's a beautiful shank. And I can see where all that meat has pulled away. Yeah, you see how, so nice. like, and then you can tell, you just hit it with a fork. You don't even need a knife for this <laughs> shank. You just, you, know, you can pick at it with a fork and the meat will come right off the bone. You could uh, even eat this thing with a spoon? Absolutely, <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. So now I'm going to go ahead and plate it, serve it with some rice, and we're going to go ahead and enjoy it together in the dining room. Chef. <laughs> This thing is a Flintstones level cut of meat right here. This is a beautiful lamb shank. Thank you, Seth. I couldn't think of a better dish for you to try. So typically, we grab a little piece of the, the meat with the broth, and then we enjoy it with the, with the rice. So it's all part. You got to have it all together. Absolutely. <laughs> the, the spoon is actually used to pour the broth over the meat as well. All right. It's a spot, huh? <laughs> That meat is truly fall off the bone. <laughs> I, that's the whole purpose of braising you for that long. <laughs> that is really, really good. Glad to hear that, man. That's that's the type of reaction I look for. And uh, you know, it's funny. Sometimes it's hard to pick out the individual ingredients, but definitely getting some of that saffron as well. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, the saffron is you know it's the base of the Persian cuisine. You, you, it's literally in every single recipe you can think of, even in the Persian ice cream. And rice, that's just kind of a key part of Persian cuisine. Absolutely, right? you gotta have rice. And I see this beautiful uh, rice over here. So this is tadik. Okay, so when we cook uh, big pots of rice, the bottom part of it, we usually add a little bit of saffron butter and a little bit of olive oil. What it does. Uh, it, we cook it to a point where the bottom portion of the pot has become crispy, so it creates this really nice, crunchy texture that Persians the, the fight over at the dinner table for. The tadik, the salad, the rice, the meat combined together, it just uh, gives you a variety of different textures for your meal. You can just grab a piece and, and, and enjoy it. Dip in a little bit of sauce. How about that? Mm. Such a nice counterpart as well to that meat. Since I'm getting all the textures here, Chef, I do feel like I need to add a little bit of salad too. Yes. All right. So it's diced cucumber, tomatoes, and onions that's tossed in homemade mint vinaigrette. 
I love all these different Persian flavors and how nicely they all play together. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, Persian cuisine is, it's complex um, in, in so many ways, but it's also simple in so many ways. And, and you can see that on, on one table at a, at a dinner setting, like the Shirazi salad, which is actually from the, uh, the Shiraz region of Iran. Uh, and the Tadig is more of a Tehran type of uh, recipe. It's a combination of different regions that come together. It's a perfect balance of flavors. <laughs> well, it's so good. Um, I got a little more work left to do with this lamb shake. Enjoy here. yourself, buddy. It's gonna take you a minute to finish all that, but yeah, enjoy it, man. Glad you guys uh, got to see what the Persian cook cooking is all about. Thanks, Jenny.